We're now going to see the mining operation at Anvil Creek and this is the method that was used through the 1990s. Uh, first the overburden is removed which has already been done. This area there's oh, 20 to 25 feet of overburden that was taken off before getting to the pay dirt and then a dozer will push that pay dirt up to the sluicing area and then uh, somebody with will run the hand giant to wash that material and break up the mud and dirt and then the water from that hand giant and uh, another hose there that you can see putting some water in the area would then carry the material down through the sluice box and you can also see um, our son in this picture is throwing some of the bigger rocks out of the way so the material continues to carry down through the sluice box and at the bottom of the sluice box is where the tailings build up and you can see the bucket from the drag line sitting there so when they got built up uh, to a certain amount the drag line would bail them out of the way and of course there's riffles in the sluice box that uh, the gold would then settle and, and get caught in the riffles although uh, we like to call this caveman style mining because it's uh, an older method and a very poor recovery system in fact, studies from Whitehorse Yukon Territory found that you would probably lose in 40 to 60 percent of the gold with this method of mining. So very poor. We're now going to take a look at the cleanup. Once all the material is in the sluice box, then what you're seeing here is we're using a device called a water pick that has a small but forceful stream of water coming out the end of it and just running it back and forth in the riffles to uh, get some of the junk out and let the gold be pushed down further so it goes into the carpeting underneath and just uh, helps clean out some of the trash before you take the riffles out and do the cleaning up of the gold in the sluice box. Anvil Creek lies between midway between Ophir Creek and Spruce Creek and both of these creeks have been mined to their headwaters and Ophir Creek itself through the year 1961 recorded taking over 66,000 ounces of gold from Ophir Creek and out of Spruce Creek it's been recorded between 40 and 50,000 ounces of gold. You're seeing gold now lying on the carpet once the riffles have been uh, removed from the sluice box and just continuing to work some of that material back there to get rid of some of the trash and the junk so that before you start uh, cleaning up the gold you can get rid of as much of it as possible that's garbage. And continuing to do our best to clean up the gold in the sluice box because you can get it pretty darn clean in there but of course still having riffles behind to catch any of the gold that gets carried down but as you move the material forward and then you'll see that he's going to use um, a water hose and just keeps cleaning up the gold. The gold's heavier than the trash and the garbage that's there and uh, trying to clean up as much of it in the sluice box as possible. It just makes it a lot uh, cleaner gold and a lot less work doing the cleaning up later after you take it to camp and dry it. The gold on Anvil Creek averages 85 to 89 percent in fineness. It also has uh, silver of about 7 to 10 percent. The largest nugget recorded taken off of Anvil Creek is 6 ounces. We ourselves have taken 5.5 ounce nugget off of the creek and know of two or three other nuggets in that same range between five and a half and six and a half ounces that were taken off the creek. And as you can see as he keeps working it with the water that gold just keeps getting cleaner and cleaner and getting more of the trash and junk out of there. And once it is 
taken out of the box, then we take it up to camp, dry it out, and run it through our screens to get the different mesh sizes and just do our best to keep cleaning up as much as we can out of it. The cleaner the gold, the better. And here's a sample of uh, the jewelry gold that's come off of Anvil Creek. Very nice jewelry gold that's found there. The nugget on the right side is approximately one ounce in size. So some very nice jewelry gold that comes off of Anvil Creek.